In the conclusion of yesterday's case. You put your hands on him. A driver points blame at a bicyclist. The first contact was when he hit my vehicle. The first contact was when you got into your car and chased him. Now the judge. And you're chasing him because you want to have a discussion. Is in pursuit of the truth. You and I know each other for 10 minutes and I know that that's not your personality, Mr. Hope. Judge Judy. You are about to enter the courtroom of Judge Judith Scheinland. This is Judge Judy. Previously on Judge Judy. He called your mother, your sister, your brother, your best friend, and you a lowlife, slimy, sleazy, cursed at you, did anything he wanted. And then he was on his way. So now you're chasing him. He's in the bike lane. Now you stopped at a light. And he gets out of the car to have this discussion. <laughs> Whack-a-doodle. All I want to know is what happened at the light. So instead of executing a right-hand turn, because he's in the right-hand turn ah. lane in a bike lane, he came to rest with his bumper on my tire. And while you were doing that, you knocked his mirror. I don't recall hitting it, but if I could. <laughs> while you were doing that, his face was very while you were doing that, you knocked his mirror. And when he got out of the car, what happened? I felt this a, a big push on my back, and I then exploded into some car that was the light went green, and I hit the car. In a case continued from yesterday, bicyclist Joseph Connolly is suing motorist Christopher Hope for medical bills, bicycle damage, and an assault. Now, at that point, you're both facing in the same direction because you had been chasing him. He then turned his bicycle around, which would mean he was going in the opposite direction. You say to follow you. That's impossible, because if he turned it around, he wasn't following you. So which one was it? He turned around. First of all, my car was not on all, his tire. My car was not on his tire.